the hype. I've heard non-stop about this goddamn police chase. So I heard this is like some actual GTA shit. David, we were up over at Knott's Berry Farm, looked out the wind- No one told me there'd be jump scares in here. Holy shit. Wow. That was so loud. What the fuck? Okay, let me turn that down. And Dylan, what do you have? Another pursuit. This is eastbound 91 freeway, just past the 5 freeway. Unclear which agency is pursuing this vehicle. Right now, he's going so fast, there's nobody right behind him. But very erratic driving, getting off of the 91 freeway. It's a black Honda Civic. The driver's side window rolled down. Apparently, this was an attempted traffic stop. As I mentioned, unclear which agency and who is okay, pursuing Okay, so now he's just booking it out of there. technically still in pursuit mode, but what you can see here is that the driving is very... Very dangerous, very erratic and aggressive tactics as he what tries the to fuck? the here, squeezing through these two cars at a red light. You can see some front end Interesting front maneuver. On that bumper now turning left onto Huntington Avenue, just south of the 91 freeway. This appears to be a residential street doing about 60 miles per hour down a residential street. That's uh, skill. How is that? Don't give me that shit at all. That wasn't skill at all. He just wedged himself between the two cars and hit the gas. There was no skill involved in that maneuver. And he also got lucky the car next to him backed up, so he had a little extra space for it. Of Maple Street. So Huntington Avenue and Maple Street just coming up on Maple, making a right turn now, slowing down just a little bit, zigzagging his way again through this residential neighborhood with nobody right behind him, but making random turns nonetheless here at a pretty high rate of speed. He needs to find a bridge. Stopping. And then switch cars. Over and maybe about oh, holy shit, he actually is switching cars. Oh, maybe not. In the vehicle. We'll see here. What is that? Did he, uh, did he hit the wrong button on his controller? What is going on? In a rush to get away from that vehicle. Getting in a pickup truck. We'll see if he... Okay, yeah, he does not. He does... I was going to say, maybe he... What the fuck? Yeah, breaking, in, breaking into the pickup truck. Okay. That didn't work. Man, he must have left the cops in the dust. Man had the afterburners on on that Honda Civic. Fucking turbo jets activated. Right, so he's getting back in that original car almost for a second. Looks like he was uh, intentionally getting in that pickup truck as if he also had the keys, but obviously was trying to break in there, now choosing to get away in that original pursuit vehicle. I could tell you that Anaheim one star left. Is <laughs> yeah. Here. They have eyes on it. They are probably streaming ABC7 as we speak as Helicopter well. is just so uh, busted in the police chase meta. You can never escape it. At a high rate of speed after failing to take over that pickup truck back in that original Honda Civic uh, as he tries to hide out somewhere in this neighborhood. Unclear whether he's going to get back on the freeway here, but he's almost doing a complete circle as he's uh, basically come out the other side of this neighborhood. So heading northbound now on Catalpa Avenue into oncoming lanes of traffic. Some wild turns here. They have to get some ground units into this area. Yeah, where I haven't seen a single officer here. Where are they at? Much further, nonetheless, in the middle of rush hour. Bro, at this point, this guy could probably just go home and just wait out the wanted level. My God, where where are they? Oh, I just heard a siren. Maybe not. Maybe there's a cat in the helicopter. I don't know. What was that? I thought it was a siren. It just doesn't make sense that he would just dump the vehicle for no other reason except for maybe the possibility of... What is he doing? He ...running out of gas. So if the gas is low, oh. and if it's a stolen car, that would have made a lot of sense. Now he's parking it in a parking spot once again. Clearly really really trying to get rid of this vehicle and now running through this subdivision here we'll try and get across here it looks like it's going to be north schooner lane as he runs through these townhomes uh in anaheim we'll try again we'll try and get oh we lost him okay let's stay on him stay on him right oh, here he's just running there he is the building here 
Uh, looks like he's coming up on another couple of cars. Cameraman has aimbot. And a small red yeah. compact car. Looks like he's trying to break in to the van. Again, oh, he an did. Open door, an open door in that white van. And now you can see the black There they are. Right behind him. There's the he's boys in blue. In. He's, he's inside the car, likely trying to hotwire it at this point. And you can see they have lit him up. So someone in chat enlightened me. My dad used to always say hot hotwiring modern cars is almost impossible. Is that true or false? Like cars made within, within the last 10 years. Getting mostly trues and a couple falses. So if he actually hotwires this van, I'm going to have to assume that it's an older van. Been basically blocked him in. If he tries to back out, it could get ugly. But in any event, officers now with their guns drawn, squarely wait. They had their eyes on him. They're just waiting for backup at this point, and obviously trying to uh, bark some orders at him, hoping he gets out of the vehicle. Let's try and come around the other side if we can. If it's, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a, we're actually on the north side of the... Yeah, I can actually see that he's trying to hotwire it. He's got the alarm going off. Unfortunately, we can't see the driver's side of that white van. But again, if you're just tuning in, there is a pursuit driver that is just... Oh, he's done it. Look at this. Ramming into the front of that black and white. The, the cameraman sounds excited. Fullerton police. Now trying to block... Oh, boy. It's a game of chicken. As he puts it in reverse... He's going up and down. Well, Here comes a 45 point he's turn. He's really trying to ram that car out of his way as he is now stuck in that parking spot. There's really nowhere for him to go. He's got a fence in front of him. The cur Look at this. Look at the violently into reverse, ramming right into that Fullerton Police Department vehicle. That's right. Yes. Is there someone talking to him? Who's he saying that's right to? To me? This is very dangerous. He obviously, that officer has no choice but to use force if his life is in danger, but he is waiting for backup, and at this point really has very few options available to him. Here's another officer on the suspect's right rear flank. So now two officers, not sure if they both came from that same patrol car, but I only see those... I like that they're giving him plenty of space to work he with here. Back and forth. Now he's created some room there to we go. here, and he's... He's going to probably try and ram it again or do a four-point turn and turn it around. He's got to turn it all the way around with that hit. It's going to be more than a four-point four point turn, I think. Here, because what else, what else can those officers do? They really don't have many options. Here comes the backup. Here comes backup. Oh, oh shit. Dangerous. Look at this. A head-on. A head-on situation. Jesus Christ. Officers out of the vehicle, and now he's racing through what the fuck? As more officers oh, race fuck. Into this the whole department's here now. What is he going to do around all of those Is he drifting? Whites. Those are two, uh, oh, God, he actually... What the fuck? With them. Look at this. Whoa, did you see that drift? This neighborhood, look at this. What Holy shit. Around all of those black and whites, those are two... Uh, Fullerton police officer. Oh my god, this guy must have hopped in this car and made sure that when he hotwired it, he had his copy of Teriyaki Boys on cassette in order to play it through the radio here. What a mean drift. That are now going to try and turn around with him. Look at this. Look at what we are seeing here. He is now back on Coronet Avenue after evading the prime void in the resub fit who were just pressed the in the gift subvert try and help that original officer uh, after a wild scene in that parking lot we now have a brand new pursuit on our hands here as he has carjacked this vehicle and now uh, racing down coronet avenue at maple street once again a dangerous situation on the hands of fullerton police here but it's a slower vehicle though so surely we can catch this Get in there with a pit maneuver. Didn't even use his turn signal. I mean, Jesus, can you have some respect? That's right. And anybody who is willing to, to engage with those cops like that. Uh, oh, God. On, look at this. Oh, fuck. All of this traffic here as he tries to get back on the freeway. It looks like he's trying to get back on the night. That, that'd be so frustrating. I wouldn't be surprised if the civilians just start chasing him down now. 91 freeway 
Surely CHP is being called in here as Fullerton Police really has their hands tied. Uh, many of those officers, I have not seen them uh, get much closer to him. And now he is on the westbound side of the 91 freeway. As I was about to say, anybody who is that reckless and willing to put themselves in that position where they are face to face with those officers, uh, it is a desperate suspect behind the wheel here. And obviously, obviously very, very dangerous. Getting onto the five. And this van is actually cruising. Thanks to the resub cap. And he's he a bit thick, perf, no and Marty. Ramming into anybody at this point or sideswiping any vehicle that's in his way. So I think we are about to see some really dangerous, uh, well, very precarious situation here for every motorist. Thanks to 10 gift subs, Maki. Thank you, Maki. Again, westbound side of the 91 freeway has now transitioned to the southbound 5 free. I'm sorry, the northbound the 5 freeway. He is now northbound on the 5 freeway where traffic, I've got to tell you, is relatively light. For as far as I could see out the window from up here in Air 7 HD, very little traffic in his way. I wonder if he has a plan imagine, in mind. As you were wondering too, David, that I can only imagine that CHP has been requested to take this over because you've got Anaheim PD who's pretty much out of pocket. See, like right there, I feel like if he had just stopped and like hid somewhere, he might have been all right. Right, this guy is just a piece of shit though. So getting off the beach boulevard, hitting so many cars, uh, endangering all these civilians. I'm no fan, but it's hard not to appreciate the entertainment of a good chase, especially one where there's no one that's injured. As he continues northbound at a high rate of speed, a little more traffic on this street here as he makes a wild right turn into oncoming lanes of traffic. There's Anaheim PD's oh. they are directly Damn, the, the chopper's in it. Likely Imagine this is like a just cause situation. This chopper drops like a, a grappling hook and hits the hits the van, picking it up and drops them off at the the police headquarters. Fuck me, that'd be so cool. They are directly over him, likely uh, calling out for CHP. But right now, ever since he took this vehicle out of that parking lot, we have not seen any ground units engage with this suspect yet. I see a lot of people insulting the officers. I disagree. When it comes to chases, I think they have the right philosophy most of the time where if it's a, like a very dangerous situation, you don't chase because you don't want to endanger civilians. I think that's their policy. And I think that's the right way of handling it. Like I see a lot of people shitting on them for not engaging in this chase here and like going fucking crazy, ramping off of parked tow trucks like it's GTA. And I just think that'd be the wrong way of handling it. I'd be more mad at the officers because they're not going to be able to drive like... In a way that doesn't endanger people. So they're letting this guy go solo. They have the chopper on him so they'll always know where he is. And then they will just go in a safer route that doesn't put people at risk. I think that is the right way of handling it. 100%. So I, ha I do not blame the cops at all. The only thing I was criticizing is how slow they were to being on him when he was fully stopped. I, since they have the chopper, they're, hit they're getting real-time info. I would have expected them to at least be closer to him. I wasn't criticizing them for the lack of, like, high-speed pursuit. F fucking hitting him with the pit maneuver in a residential area. They straight up let him hotwire the truck, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like that. That's the fuck up I'm talking about. They were so far behind. This dude was able to hotwire a truck, run through five little townhomes, and then back up fucking 30 times before anyone else showed up to the scene. That's what I'm criticizing. It's not the lack of them chasing him through all of these people, like the residential area and like around all of these people's cars. Why didn't they shoot the tires? That's a good point. Like, there was an officer there. He, I, I'm shocked he didn't just start shooting the tires out or something. I feel like it's got to be, like, every officer's dream to, like, pop the tires on a car. Yeah, very fearful, very agitated driver behind the wheel here. It all started... Stray bullets. A That's a fair point, actually. Over. That's he fair. Was it was literally a townhome. Good point. And it appeared, we saw him on several occasions, try and dump that vehicle, and now he has taken over a white... 
van that's a GMC van, almost looks like a work van that was parked in those townhomes now on Artesia Boulevard as CHP tries Thanks to get here subs, and Appreciate race that. up Artesia Sarah and to catch up with the, the prime suspect, dab. but once again, no black and whites in sight as he is breaking every rule of the road and showing no regard for anybody's safety here, just ramming into vehicles whenever he sees anybody in his way. He sideswiped two separate vehicles, getting off of the 91 freeway, lost control at Beach Boulevard, as you said, Dave. Uh, David, he uh, fishtailed off of the freeway there, almost lost control, actually, and is now regained control on a much light, uh, uh, a much uh, uh, less traveled uh, Boulevard here. This is Artesia Boulevard, where you can see once again, he's got much of the road all to himself here. Van's got some good horsepower. Almost feels like an advertisement for this van. Not only does it have good horsepower, but the traction on it's actually nuts. He's made some very tight turns, and it's held up really well. I feel like I'm watching a commercial. just bound to lose control of this field. You, you can tell with every turn, he's barely breaking. He's taking all of these turns. Easy to steal. Fast, <laughs> yeah. They'd cut that part out of the ad. Very limited capability of controlling. There are some black and whites a ways back, but they are having trouble catching up. They are not competing with him with these dangerous tactics that we're seeing here. He is driving very dangerously, but they've got to figure something out because this is the same driving that we were seeing when he was in a small little black Honda Civic. Uh, we were very easily able to spot him on the freeway. Look at this. More traffic in his way. We'll see what he does here. But in every time he's caught himself in a little bit of a jam, he just tries to use the vehicle. God damn. Ram his way through. Parting the like seas. Gotten through that light there. He, uh, we're on Valley View. I cannot believe they haven't hit him with the spike trap yet. Very easy to spot he must be driving too fast that they can't get ahead of him for so it. Erratic. And again, throughout this pursuit, except for when he stole this vehicle, uh, he has had really nobody behind him He's just driving like a madman through the streets of Whittier now here on Valley View Avenue at Alondra Boulevard. Too populated for spikes. Through the green light here with a uh, little more traffic in his way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, we'll I'd be uh, fucking tight. My shit gets spiked because the van behind me on his way up was coming. I'd be mad. Yeah, maybe you're right. It is pretty populated. And we already have witnessed several collisions with this car. Not to mention that wild scene in the parking lot. If you missed it, I hope we can roll back some of that video where he was ramming that black and white, that lone Fullerton police officer who was just trying to block the parking spot with his gun drawn. He rammed that black and white out of the way. And the narrator's like an esports announcer. Right now, yeah, he's casting this like it's an actual league match. Can't blame him. Like, this is the most excitement he's probably had on the job ever. Over the media and into oncoming lanes of traffic through a parking lot here. He's going to what is his plan? Rosecrans Avenue going the wrong way. Wrong way on Rosecrans. Wrong way on Rosecrans. It's a median. He's going to have to jump. The oh, my goodness. Look at this. He's going to probably shift over to the correct lanes here. Oh, my but God. Jump the median. Just went the wrong way. Is now on the westbound side of Rosecrans Avenue heading back towards the freeway. He's going to come up on the 5 freeway, approaching Norwalk, uh, if he continues in the west. He has to have some kind of destination in mind or something. It's just random turns and driving and parking lots. Uh, just went right over the curb there. I mean, there really wasn't really anybody in his way. I'm not even sure what's going through this. <laughs> yeah, he's even being critiqued by the, by the, the announcer. Impossible to set up for a spike. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> Off-roading, trying to get around traffic. Yeah, almost slammed into that tree. Oh, now, wait, he did. He did. Yep. Fishtailing through the parking lot. Nearly spun out. Through an empty warehouse parking lot. Back onto Marquette Avenue. He got clipped. He is having a lot of trouble with this vehicle, guys. Man, watching this live must have been nuts. Fuck. Holy shit. Absolutely not. Thanks to the Prime. Yeah, not Spazzy. Like Young. He gives up John. There are pieces flying. 
Oh, he's lost his tire. Yeah, he's on his he's rims. Rim. He's on a, that left rear tire is. Uh, Man, and it is still to, uh, scooting. I don't know if there's any tread left, but he's uh, looks like he's got some sparks coming off occasionally. You saw some of that rubber flying off, and now oh my, real time editing. More trouble, even more trouble maintaining control of this vehicle as he continues northbound on Marcourt Avenue, <laughs> uh, right along. YouTube chat is going so hard. Paint shop, paint shop. <laughs> just screaming paint shop. <laughs> on the wash here, there's a golf course off of the nose, but we are in a commercial area. It's going to turn into a more residential street if he continues, but there is a black and white now behind him. Code 3 with lights and sirens on. About Makes the resub squail man and cipher. And see which agency that is that's behind him. That looks like the, uh, uh, maybe still Bulletin. It's Fullerton PD. Fullerton PD. Fullerton PD on the case, baby. Soon we're going to need the Dominic Toretto Private Military Company coming in to stop this guy. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> now as he comes up, well, no, he's not in Norwalk yet, but look at this. He's going through that gas station without any tire on that left, right, that left rear wheel. Almost struck several vehicles there. A miracle nobody's gotten hurt yet. But you can see he is really... It really is a miracle. Now. Lots of traffic oh. ramming into all of these... Oh, here. boy. And this is northbound Carmenita Road now. And he's it's, it's not moving. He's stuck. Now he's stuck. It looks like he's stuck. How the fuck does he get out of this situation? What's I ha I've never been in this situation. What is proper protocol for a car like this? Like what do you like what do you do? Like oh my god, the officer got a gun drawn on a van that's been speeding around in front of me. Do, do I go around? Do I stay? Like what the fuck? I I would be panicking. Like I myself would be panicking. I I wouldn't know if like I like need to run away, like drive out or if I'm supposed to stay parked. No, 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 the pat. I'm talking about the civilian car, not the, not the fucking officer. Jesus Christ, what are you talking about? Chat's kind of divided between leave and stay. I don't, yeah, I, I just don't know. Like, if I saw this in front of me and I happen to be the car right behind it... I, my heart would be racing probably faster than this guy's. Just be, between the decision of, am I supposed to go around this? Or am I supposed to just, like, stay parked here? Or, like, maybe pull off to the right side like a fire truck coming through? That guy made the flight response. Sparks flying, and that patrol, that officer right there, has to treat this with kid glove care. And likely going to have to step away what? from his vehicle. What? What does that mean? Seen him, uh, put it in reverse once and ram into that. Man, those sparks are flying off like an episode of Power Rangers. Jesus Christ. At all. It looks like the van is now stuck. Yeah, this, this is likely to start a fire. You can see those, those rims are starting to glow. Oh, wait, it's getting to some movement. Uh, there's certainly more on the way over here. Right now, if we widen it just a little bit, we can confirm just that one black and white. Just the one black and white. We're at uh, Placid Drive, north, uh, northbound. How does he get out of here? And he is now stranded here. We'll see how this officer deals with this. He's likely just going to wait for backup, and right now it doesn't appear. Oh, it's starting to fire. Is going anywhere. Oh, maybe he's going to blow up the van for like a smoke he's screen. not aware. That's right. You've got to wonder. You've got to wonder if he's thinking about getting out of this van and trying to hijack another one. You've got to at least wonder whether that's going through his mind. He's probably not aware. Well, now he's aware. Oh, there's no. Say, yeah. There, what? There's no way. He's on fire, but certainly he's aware, aware of the fire under the hood. More pieces flying out there as this vehicle is starting to come apart. I'm thinking it came from the... Well, it could be, because, I mean, where else would that smoke be where did, coming from? Where did that officer just go? 
fired yet. So that probably What the fuck was that? That wheel, that left rear wheel is also creating What? Uh, Why did the metal as well? So Where did that other officer just go? Now I've got to wonder uh, if that transmission is just uh, I'm sure this guy's got it. I'm going home. I'm off the clock. Not sure, but in any event, it has overheated and uh, it looks like the vehicle is now disabled. Oh, there he is. Okay. There there he is. So some backup from CHP. Back up from CHP and Fullerton PD. And oh the shit! Vehicle crawls out of the passenger window and is now running for it northbound Carmenita Road. Running up northbound Carmenita. He doesn't seem particularly the fast. He crosses the street. We've seen this person make several desperate attempts to hijack other vehicles. We will see what he decides to do here. He also doesn't oh, seem like he has that much sense of urgency here. here. here in, uh, the, uh, it's like a casual area, jog. Now running down the sidewalk without any other wheels at his disposal, he's going to start running out of steam here, and we'll see if this uh, ends in a foot pursuit because I think they are pursuing him on foot, but I can't confirm that from my vantage point. Here comes another officer uh, in the opposite direction, and he oh, he's getting winded already. Oh boy. Alleyway here. Oh. Loses his footing. Oh no, oh no, he's now on private property. Oh boy! Now they need a warrant. Now it's over. What the fuck? And jumping fences. He's jumping fences, looking for a way in. An accomplice. Little dog, small dog there in the backyard. He's under that, under that, uh, that. That patty, yeah, he's gonna go inside that house, shave his facial hair, change his clothes, and then just pretend to be somebody else. He went that way. Several dogs barking. He's now going through that through that sliding glass door, making his way into the home. Somebody appears to be yeah, it might even be a homeowner. Not sure. Completely unaware. Yeah, he's on the other side of the building. I don't think he has any clue. Very dangerous situation here where we have no information. But here comes somebody running out the front. Look at this. Look at this. A conference. Oh, Jesus. The house, a family home. And now we're going to come around the front here. <laughs> oh, they're beating his ass. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. He, he just he just got in that truck. There's a dog under that truck. Oh, the guy's got a knife on him. Look at this. Oh, he what the fuck? Him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. This is incredible. Man, what an who was this his mom or his wife? That's uh, bad play from from her there. He he had he had him, and then he gets his fucking truck stolen. So they throw a couple punches, and then she's holding him back for some reason. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. Oh, the poor dog's under the car. There's a dog under that truck. Oh, there we go. He moves. Look at this. He just stole. Thank God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. This is incredible. Oh, yeah, true, I guess. That's fair. I guess that makes sense, then. Because he could have gone to jail for it. There's no, like, uh... The fuck is it called? Like, Castle Doctrine or some shit in California? So, yeah. If he actually did take action and, like, stab him or something, he could have gone to jail. Never mind. I cannot believe what we are witnessing, guys. Are they gonna pay for the truck, though? Like, the city? creative here, because this person... Is abs look at this just ramming into cars, additional bumpers flying off of those that other vehicle, and now he's uh, I believe westbound on Leftingwell Road. Who's a five? Give subs, Jason. Appreciate it. That, the resub Kading and goodbye. Yeah, westbound Leftingwell. If you live in this area or have any idea where we are here, if you are looking at, at us, you need to stay inside. Because there is a dangerous suspect behind the wheel here. I feel very sorry for all of the other cars on the road here uh, as he continues to make his way towards the freeway once again. We may find ourselves back on the freeway, but look at him. A little bit of traffic and once again right through another gas station. 
This is just incredible. This is the third vehicle that he has stolen today. That's a pretty good a pretty good record for one day's work. Three thefts and a so far a twenty five minute chase. I mean that's a full day. That's right. I, that's the only thing that I could think of. If they have the opportunity, they're going to have to catch up with him once again. They're going to have to get themselves in a position where they could bring this to an end if they can figure that out. And then uh, there's going to be... How did he have that much time in the house? The cops weren't far away. He ran here. And the cops chased him in cars. Are they not being fed the information that we're seeing? Because we saw him go through one house and then into another, and he stayed there for like a good two minutes, maybe? And then went out the front door, I'm guessing stole the keys while he's in the house, got into a fight with the homeowners, and then took the car without a single officer being nearby. It was like 45 seconds? No, it was definitely longer than that. Here, we're at 24.55. Just remember that. So he gets to the first house at... 21.39. He then le- Oh, you're right. No, no, you're not. It's a little under two minutes. And then this is when he gets his next car. Like, I feel like that's plenty of time because the cops were right behind him. Like, you can see them go by right here. They are right here. And he ran through this, slipped turned around, and then ran through those two houses. Is there... There must be, like, some red tape that the cops weren't able to, like, get over there. Like, maybe they... I was joking, but maybe they, like, legitimately did need a warrant to even be around the area. I, I don't know. That's still really quick. I mean, it is quick, but they were so close. Like, they were right in... They were right there. No, you don't need a warrant for that? Then I don't know. I don't understand how it could have taken them that long. Uh, there's going to be a very dangerous confrontation because this guy is not going away easily. There's just no way at this point that he is willing to give up. And whatever steam he lost running up that block, he's now uh, comfortably in the driver's seat. Leave the prime honey crisp and fluffy. Brand new work truck, and you could tell, I mean, he's having, uh, I mean, we don't even know. I mean, there could be a full tank in that truck, so he may have a whole new fresh tank to play with here as he now travels down Mayer Road at 70 miles per hour, a high speed, uh, high, traveling at a high rate of speed on a, uh, on a road that can't be more than 45 miles per hour speed limit, now back into another residential neighborhood. He's the prime goose. Mm. This one is probably not going to be able to drift as well as his last vehicle, so he's slightly nerfed now. Not to mention, he almost took out uh, at least one person in that driveway and a dog that was underneath as well. I hope everybody is okay back there. But now we have to follow this until the end here because the sun is going down and still no visual of law enforcement uh, within sight here. So we're going to try and uh, keep the camera on them and hope that somebody can triangulate those officers into this residential neighborhood as he makes these random turns, now making a left turn onto Rainier Avenue, uh, Rainier Avenue off of uh, Fidel. Uh, at a Thanks high a bit, rate of bro. speed. I mean, I just hope nobody is out walking this neighborhood because this person is just speeding right through. Right through. Man, this is so fucking sad. This is that guy's work vehicle. Fuck. That sucks, man. Like, the guy is... Like, he's, he's a talented driver and, like, the chase is wild, but I feel so fucking bad for all the victims in here. What a shame. Shit, yikes. Yeah, he was pissed in the interview. Oh, they interviewed him? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean, he had every right to be pissed. Christ.
How did this start? Apparently, he ran from a traffic stop. Or, no, is that what they said at the beginning? Fuck, it's already been so long now this chase has been going on. Yeah, I, mean, I think it was. Over the again, going the he got stopped. Way. I think he had stolen a vehicle, got stopped, and then sped out. And look at this, coming up on another major, major intersection, a left turn northbound on Painter Avenue. To answer your question, David, uh, that original van, I think he hotwired. I have to believe that the keys in this truck were already inside the vehicle. No, he, st he definitely stole way the keys. Way too quickly, unless he, as you mentioned, is a really gifted car thief. In any event, uh, th there have been... No so shot. Major felonies. <laughs> no shot. What? A gifted car thief? Now, no one can hotwire a car like that that quick. Continuing northbound Painter Avenue with several black and whites behind him, but again, having trouble to keep up. Uh, again, the speeds he's traveling and the dangerous tactics. No problem going the wrong way against traffic. Things are resub. Miles per hour Merck in Musad. Uh, and Shoemaker Avenue. So, again, a, 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 a very, very light traffic here. Uh, and it wouldn't matter anyways, because when there is traffic, he just seems to ram into everybody in his way. So we can only hope that the traffic stays Thanks light a bit strife. and hope that maybe they can get some more officers into the area in front of him. Not just following him from behind and chasing him, but try and uh, triangulate in front of him. Very difficult, because he's not you know, driving in any kind of a pattern. A spice strip, obviously, is pointless. Some cross traffic there through the red light at Santa Fe Springs Road, now well into Santa He's Fe also Springs. so lucky every driver right now is very attentive. The drivers are pulling out of his way and stopping when he's going through the, the red lights. He is so lucky the drivers around him are actually decent. Thanks to the bits, Tori. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this is making California drivers look good. Not him in particular. I'm talking about, like, the people on the road. They're able to recognize when he's coming. Like, they must see him behind them. Because they're actually pulling out of the way to avoid any kind of collision with them. And when he's going through the red light intersections, they are stopping. So they see him before he gets there somehow. And they're, they're reacting well. So, yeah, the California drivers, I mean, they're copping a W right now. They're looking pretty strong. If this was Florida, this man would have got hit. He would have got hit nine times already. He probably would have got hit in the parking spot back at the townhomes. See, like, look at that. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, they are able to recognize this. Like, they're actually paying a ton of attention to their surroundings here. Or that was just a crazy coincidence from this guy. <laughs> now, now he can't shake him. It's like a Talladega Knights shake and bake situation. Dude's fucking dr catching his draft. It's unbelievable. I mean, he's on a bona fide crime spree here. We can only be thankful that it didn't appear that anybody in that home was hurt. Uh, at, at, at the very least, we have to be thankful for that. But it'll be a miracle if it remains that way throughout the course of this new pursuit now. Again, as you mentioned, in the third... Oh, true. He could be honking. Today. Now, you're right. He probably... He, he is absolutely honking. No doubt. Started, I didn't I even think say. of that. You're uh, right. Is that right? About 25 minutes? Maybe a little, Yeah, a little bit closer to 40 minutes. Uh, and it... Yeah, and he's, uh, he was going away from the freeway here on Slauson. and now he's turned around and heading back towards the freeway. I wonder if he's looking for an opportunity to get back on the freeway. He is on Sorensen Avenue. I feel like he has no fucking clue here, where he is right now. The there is no rhyme or reason so to his driving he here. eastbound Slauson, and for some reason, and, and he hasn't done this very often, but for some reason, he just turned around, very randomly turned around, back towards the freeway and I think I wonder my gut tells me he's looking for an entrance ramp a close call there another there are so many people that have seen or have like been around this now like I I cannot imagine what seeing this must have been like and then going home and be like wow I was a part of this that Camry that he passes at minute 31 
That was me. That must be so fucking crazy. And relentless as well, staying right on top of him. At least they have been able to do that and call out his Easy location. Tier one. For all of these neighboring agencies. Kink now, and the Lisa Vincent goof in the prime unlocked. Involved here at some point. We are in Santa Fe Springs, uh, in L.A. County Sheriff's Jurisdiction. We've already seen several agencies, including Anaheim PD, Fullerton PD, and CHP, try to apprehend this suspect at various points. Uh, but he has done a masterful job. Oh my of god. The editing here is also uh, second to none. A lot of horror and havoc. Real in time. Orange County and now back in LA County here on another residential street. A very random turn. So no destination of mine. I thought maybe he was trying to get to the freeway. Doesn't look like it. Just trying to maybe look for a spot to hide out. Thinking this through. Maybe he I don't know how familiar he is with this neighborhood but maybe he's just Fucking UAV. To, yeah. Uh, to hide out. And you have to this chase has gone from morning to night now. <laughs> we have watched the time of day change with this chase. In a small little residential neighborhood here at Riesling and Wellsford. And if he decides to dump that vehicle once again, we already know what he's capable of. And so I just hope, I mean, the best place he could end up right now, quite frankly, with guys, would be the freeway. If he gets on the freeway, it's a much more manageable and contained atmosphere but once you get in these residential streets with a, a dangerous uh madman behind the wheel like this anything True. Is possible we've already seen it and you can see that night sun coming on uh compliments of the anaheim police department angel one right overhead as he continues these random turns that i think was la county's helicopter so now two law enforcement helicopters oh man they got another department on him fuck i have to pee so bad we <laughs> Oh my god. We're only 34 minutes in. How? How? What the fuck? Like, I knew it was an hour 40, but it doesn't really register how long that is until you are actually, like, in the thick of it. That is absurd. Okay, I gotta pee, though. Hold on, give me one sec. Makes the resub feel... Or... Er Fi. Please give some Chloa in the prime um, or resub Umbra.
away, guys. They are going to get him off the road at all costs. This is not going to come. He makes the prime Shorts cute. Back on Sorensen. Right. Well, the question becomes: Look at this. He's full speed at the end of uh, at the end of Sorensen into a parking lot, and I think this is a shopping center at. Uh, what Park the fuck is the plan here? Okay. What? People walking through this parking lot. He's Surely I'll lose them in the parking lot. His way through this parking lot, a very busy parking lot, as he tries to look for an outlet. You have to wonder. He's very aware of that night sun coming from the helicopter, and I can only imagine that that night sun is agitating him even more. So at least we've made it through there without any trouble. He's made it his way through that parking lot. Pollock now and back onto Hadley Guns. Street, where you can see squarely that night sun Thanks is on bit. him. Chester and, and resub son to amp things up even more than they already are but as you mentioned David we do not run. know what the original want was it was an attempted traffic stop he failed to pull over failure to yield but obviously there is much much more to this story and from the very beginning I was questioning whether that original black Honda Civic uh, even belonged to him and from what we're witnessing here, my bet is that was likely a stolen vehicle as well. In any event, this is the third vehicle we've seen him in through another major street here through the red light, continuing, I think, northbound on... Man, Hattie. that that truck's got some get-up-and-go to it. That acceleration was pretty quick. It's that super duty? Maybe. What's that? What's happening? Oh my god, he deployed an EMP! Holy shit. Oh no, it comes right back. Is the resub Texas? Oh my goodness. That's a school. He's in front of a school, guys. He's in front of a school. Lots of people walking in front of this school. At this time of night? Really? What kind of school is it? What? Oh, he's not wrong. I have seen like two people out. David, he just sped past an elementary school with a whole bunch of people uh, walking the street. Thankfully, he did not hit any of them. He is slowing down a little bit. I'm not sure what elementary school that was, quite frankly, but he's now on Beverly Boulevard at Haviland Avenue. And as the sun uh, has set, obviously, you can see we are now in darkness as he continues the pursuit through these residential streets. The only light that we're working with is that uh, night sun from the LA County Sheriff's Department. Looks like he's looks like he's found himself in a dead end. He's at a dead end at the end of Alta. Avenue. This is a great opportunity for the for the officers here. his way back out of here. We'll see if there's any black and whites waiting for him on the other side here. Let's widen out just a little bit, Rob. See what's waiting for him as he comes out the other end of Alta. We shouldn't have widened it. That just nobody, that that nobody, just oh nobody, god. Nobody, oh my god. <laughs> Where are they? Beverly Boulevard, back onto Beverly Boulevard, southbound or westbound Beverly, westbound Beverly Boulevard here in Santa Fe Springs, fuck? and no law enforcement in sight, guys. He is slowing down a little bit. Yep, go ahead, Giovanna. Did he wait out the wanted level already? Like what in the world? Even he's like, oh, you know, maybe I'm just good. I'll just wait. I'll just hang out. I've got to be honest, I can't, I can't imagine them taking that tactic in this type of a situation. They have to, they, they have to swarm him. 
They have to swarm him and get him off the road at all cost. And by the way, if they were trying to bring down the temperature, they would not have that night sun on him. That night sun is very agitating. He is clearly aware that law enforcement is on him, even though there's nobody right behind him. This is a pursuit. As far as we are aware, they are still in pursuit mode, trying to make their way in here. Uh, uh, we just have to assume There's, there's that, uh, literally, they're nowhere near him. I had, you know what, big W to the announcer here. I can't hear the other end of the guy talking, but I'm assuming he was trying to say, like, the, the cop strategy is to maybe, like, cool down the scene, uh, keep an eye on him so that way, like, as he slows down and things settle down, then they'll swoop in. I completely agree with the announcer. This is an absolute maniac. He's already hit, like, 20 cars, broken into two houses, stole a man's car, well, stolen two cars, but stole a man's car in front of him, Nearly ran over his dog. This is a guy that they absolutely should swarm to get off the streets as quickly as possible. I completely agree with the announcer. Th this guy is a very big danger to everyone on the road right now. Thanks to the tier one dwarf in the prime ram. Imagine seeing that light from your car, thinking the rapture is fucking happening. Yeah, that light is so bright. If that shined on me when I was driving, I'd be panicking. I'd be like, my dad was right all along. There really are aliens that visit this planet. Got it. Okay, guys. There is about seven black and whites, about a half a mile in front of him, trying to cut him off at the end of Beverly Boulevard. Okay. We'll see how this plays out, but they are trying to keep up with him, trying to move into position. Keeping up with him really is the wrong word. They're not really able to do that because he's driving so dangerously and so recklessly and occasionally at really high rates of speed. And when they do pull up behind him, he's a prime, just Jake. Jumps, jumps into the wrong lanes, going the wrong way in the oncoming one. traffic. As he is right now, you Sitting. see he's jumped those double yellow lines, going the wrong way down Beverly Boulevard just to get around this traffic. So they're taking a different tactic. They're trying to cut him off in front of him. Very difficult to to predict where he's going to go, but at least they have the benefit of that helicopter calling out his location. Okay, he's okay, coming. there they are. At Norwalk Boulevard, about seven black and white. They're intercepting. They're making a right turn on Norwalk, and there it is. Look at oh this. fuck! Holy shit! There we go. Now on Norwalk Boulevard, guys. These are going to be L.A. County sheriffs. That's correct. I think I counted at least six. At least six that I saw. So now I think the strategy should be to push him towards the spike trap that they're trying to set up. As opposed to just engaging in like a dangerous pursuit. I think it's to try and flush him towards their spike trap. The only good news, guys, is that uh, as far as I could tell... Workman Hill, Workman Mill Road is going to turn into a much more commercial area, uh, an industrial area if he continues further north. There are some train tracks that could get him a little bit tied up if he continues. Uh, but in any event, you see he is now using that shoulder to get around this traffic. Uh, if the shoulder wasn't there, you could bet your bottom dollar he would just ram right through these cars if he had the opportunity. But in any event, those black and whites trying to keep up trying to keep up but they can't do what he's doing so they're going to do their best to keep up he's got the helicopter right over him and uh it's just a matter of time uh before this comes to another uh tipping point This kind of does remind me of that old GTA uh, police chase. The one where the guy stole that car, the SUV, that had the baby in it. And then he said he did it because he wanted to create a viral video and monetize it. You guys remember him? That guy was fucking nuts. Open road. 
road, especially this time of the night. On a weeknight, you can see uh, some folks maybe going home, but for the most part, relatively light traffic on Workman Mill Road, coming up on Peck, which is gonna be a bit busier. So if he continues and makes a turn onto Peck Road, that'll be a different story. But right now, uh, traveling at a high rate of speed, we'll throw that real-time speed tracker back up, and you can see he's going much faster than everybody else. Uh, that is a, uh, a much, well, it looks like he's slowing down a little bit because he's got some traffic there, but you saw him do about 50 or 60 on this uh, very narrow road. Uh, once again, going around uh, a little bit of traffic at Peck. A lot of trees here. Come over uh, the 605. That is the 605 overpass. Still now, actually, he's now turned on to Peck. He's now on Peck Road, just east of the, just west, rather, of the 605. So where did they set up the spike traps then? Or did they not set up the spike traps and I misunderstood? The trap was having the six officers on the other street and trying to catch him. I was under the impression they were trying to get ahead for the spikes, but maybe he went a different direction. They're not far behind. I'm sorry, guys. We're just taking care of a little bit of housekeeping up here, and it looks like he's now getting on the freeway. He's now on the 60 freeway, getting on from Peck Road, and now it's a whole different ball game. I can only hope. We can only cross our fingers. And yeah, now it's a lot more predictable. Because that is going to take away at least some of the risk although everybody on the freeway is certainly uh, going to be in his path here of destruction as we've seen this, e this evening. Oh my uh, god. CHP almost guaranteed. He almost clipped that car. Holy shit. Now you can see those LA County Sheriff's officers managing to get on the freeway with him but he's hugging that right lane. So you see that traffic. This is all rush hour traffic and it looks like if that continues he may look to get back over to the right and get off the freeway. In any event, he's in the carpool lane now, so committed for the time being to the uh, eastbound 60 freeway. And look at this. Yeah, just weaving around. I'm surprised he hasn't gone off at any exits yet. Where is this? It's in SoCal. You know, I, I, I'm already recalling similar situations, nothing quite like this, but different situations where we've seen attempted carjackings on the freeway. It jumps to mind only because of what we've seen today, but in any event, you're right, David. It is going to slow down a little more. The traffic is going to get heavier. You're going to see a few more brake lights in about two miles. Thanks for the five. You said the door. Appreciate that, man. On the westbound side, but on the eastbound side, he's going to hit the brakes in about two miles. For the time being, those deputies are still in tow. They've fallen back a little bit, but right now, that driver has tunnel vision. He's got one mission, and he's just desperately trying to evade those deputies who have now fallen back. Man, this guy's going to go across state lines at this rate. Jesus. Around another car in that carpool lane. They have to slow down because they are not we they are not driving. Pretty soon they're gonna have to get like the they are staying back the park rangers on them or something. Safe, but now they're in a position some cops on horseback start calling in some units who are up ahead of him, like we've already seen uh, back in uh, Santa Fe Springs. So likely CHP setting up for a traffic break up ahead here. Maybe not quite yet because that does take some time. But ultimately, if he stays on the freeway, that's at the very expect. least, we can expect they could at least shout out the, the truck owner's business. To create traffic breaks behind him and traffic breaks ahead of him by blocking off those entrance ramps. And we'll see what they do with the exit ramps. But that all requires manpower and personnel. And we don't know uh, what they have ready at their disposal at the moment. But in any event, those calls are going out now. And California Highway Patrol ready to help out the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department here. Was this today? It was three days ago. The promoter freeway. Thanks for the bits, Tori. 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna research all about everyone involved in this after this. Because since it was three days ago, we're gonna have all the information now. been gassing it and flooring it wherever he's had the opportunity. Now this is concerning. He's now on the shoulder, but he's gotten all the way back over to the right. As I mentioned, that traffic that I was talking about, that's what you're looking at here. It's too much traffic for his liking, and I predict that he's going to take take one of these upcoming exit ramps here. So we'll look out for that. You're probably right. The driver's side here in just a minute, but he is hugging that right lane, and I I'm not exactly sure. Bro, this announcer's he's good. Let me just double check here. This guy knows his shit. Uh, perhaps. I'm not, that might be might be Rose Hills Road, the next exit ramp here. In any event, he is uh, committed. Look at this. He's actually moving over to the left, so maybe committing to the 60 here. I hope. That How do you practice for this? In any event, <laughs> I have no idea. Jovan, he's just flooring it wherever he has the opportunity. Just trying to create distance and space. Oh with boy! Those deputies behind oh, I thought he was gonna try and thread the needle there. He certainly sees it. I don't think. Oh, there it is. Yep. There it is. He's off. It's going to be Azusa Avenue. And he can make a left or a right. Oh, he's cutting that Ooh. guy. Oh, he's a wild right turn there. And now southbound. Another southbound close Azusa shave. Avenue. Southbound Azusa Avenue. Too much traffic for him on the on the 60 freeway, and now the pursuit continues off the freeway onto surface streets. Uh, we'll see if the speeds continue as they have been, but uh, looks like he may think that he's lost those units on the ground. Still see that night sun shining a light on him, but I don't see those deputies just yet. Not sure if they were able to get off the freeway with him. They're being directed. Well, absolutely not. Sure not. There was so much traffic. This guy got there by taking the shoulder and forcing it through. The officers can't do that. Turns put him onto very uh, highly trafficked areas for the most part. Easy tier one spine. Day, it's, a, it's, a, it's literally the middle of rush hour at 5:40 on a Wednesday afternoon, and every turn he makes, he sees brake lights for the most part, and you can see folks just trying to get home without any idea what's coming up behind them. He's already ruined several people's day, but fortunately, at least from what we could tell. Does not appear. What was that? Be, that's a weed whacker that fell off the back of that truck. Oh. It appears to be a garden <laughs> truck guy. There's a lot of landscaping equipment in the back. Hats of off to the cameraman. This was a huge, like, this is real time, by the way. He was able to see that fly off and then zoom in on it and then still keep up with the chase. Good for him. I was very curious what flew off there as well. I thought he started, like, firing missiles like a James Bond truck or something. It was like a little torpedo or something what we could tell does not appear to be that's a weed whacker that fell off the back of that truck by the way the, it's a, it appears to be a gardening truck guys there is a lot of landscaping equipment in the back of that that the, the back of that uh to, that uh excuse me the bed of that uh uh pickup truck excuse me uh but in any event that appeared to be a weed whacker that fell off there and he's continuing at a high rate of speed very dangerously weaving around even the very few cars that there are in this residential neighborhood he again has no problem ramming into anybody in his way, but he's trying to avoid them now. Well, yeah, he's probably running out of options pretty soon. You can only hotwire old cars. You know, so if he's going to try it again, it's going to have to be in like an old junkyard. That appears to be paper plates that are flapping in the back there. So very likely a, uh, a newer model uh, F... Uh, it looks like a Chevy. It's a... Chevy, yeah, it's a Chevy pickup, and he's continuing now. Or a Kia. Yeah, or a Kia, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Man, he is just, oh, I, I, I just, I, I just, every time he gets into these residential neighborhoods, 
I worry for not only those cars in his way, but all of the people who live here. He, he decides to do anything crazy, which he's already done a lot of crazy things. It could get so dangerous. That incident where he ran through that house could have ended in a deadly situation. There was obviously a struggle there. I'm just grateful that from what we observed, nobody was hurt, but there's no guarantee that it's gonna end that way. In any event, he's continuing through this residential uh, suburb here. It's gonna be- He has uh, not done like Drive, anything to really Drive. escape. He's just kind of going on like a tour. You are urged to he just makes random inside. turns and this is a that's it. Pursuit that is speeding through your neighborhood. Just burning fuel, yeah. I, I, I don't know what the plan was, or is. Coming up on a red light here, he's on the wrong side of the road, northbound Fullerton. That's Colima, he can make a turn there, or if he continues north, that would put him back on the 60, but it looks like he's made a left turn onto Colima Road. Again, a lot when you see the spotlight, you're fucked. Well. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot you can do there. I still don't see anybody behind there have been a couple cases of people that have evaded the helicopter in a chase. I've seen it. But it's very, very specific circumstances. Red light, trying to get around them. Lots of cross traffic here as he continues through that red light, and he's able to make it through. So Colima Road, westbound, is where we are. The helicopter still overhead, and those sheriff deputies trying, trying desperately to catch up. Don't know that. That was a uh, that was a guess on my part. That's what I that's what I have a feeling. But that means nothing. We have nothing to confirm. Hey, it was a stolen vehicle. Only to say that. Don't sell yourself kind of short. Over for some reason. Not sure what that. Oh! Reason. Oh my goodness! Oof! Jeepers! Over the median, over the over the median, and now continuing after missing that cross traffic just. By Holy a hair, shit. Just by a hair. Look at this. Officers able to shut down that intersection. We'll see if we start to see that happen again if he continues in the same direction. But there is now, it looked like maybe an undercover vehicle at that intersection. There, look at that. Oh, They're wait. Oh, damn. And shutting down these intersections ahead of him. It's a very hard they had the right read, but the wrong it's spot. Very, very good that they were able to do that for two intersections in a row. They can't continue that. But if they can continue to try and leapfrog his trajectory along Colima Road here. Oh, wait, they're, they're up there. They're in position. Dramatically. It looks like they've got another intersection uh, blocked off. Are they going to try and spike him? Hills Do they have time? Colima, so it's gonna no, be they're just stopping the traffic. No cross traffic. I see. Those deputies have shut down the intersection, giving him a wide berth to speed through the red light and now continuing westbound on Colima Road. But just the mere act of shutting down the freeway it saves lives because it stops all of the traffic, whatever the that is true. traffic Not wrong. signal says, everybody comes to a stop, and this guy can just speed right through these intersections and not kill anybody. So he's continuing at 90 miles per hour on Colima here, and here come those black and whites. Now they're closing in on him. Has anyone ever gotten away during a car chase? Yeah, but like I said, it's no, very rare. The helicopter is so right, strong. Coming up on Hacienda Heights, we were in Roland Heights, uh, and now for the first time, we're in Hacienda Heights, basically paralleling the 60 freeway. So just a few blocks north of him is the 60 freeway. So we're going to the on Think in Neon and, and Warrior in Tier 1 Corvi, Resub Mochi. So uh, 605 off ahead of him. Uh, the 60 freeway off to his right, uh, and those deputies clearly closing in on him, giving him a little bit of a little bit less space, and if they have an opportunity, which they can't with all of this other traffic in their way, but if they have an opportunity, they will pit him. They will pit him and do whatever it takes to get him off the road, but that assumes that those officers are pit qualified. Pit, man <coughs> pit maneuver is when they hit the backside of the car, so they spin it out, so they'll hit, like, the wheel, 
usually they try and pit and maneuver on like this side as opposed to like into oncoming traffic. So usually you'll see them pit towards like the shoulder. I don't think they'll ever get into a position to pit this guy. I don't know how they ever catch him, but I'm going to guess it's not with a pit maneuver. I can do a shit maneuver. Losing control. Amen, brother. Losing control. Ooh! Oh, crashing into another car. Crashed into another car. That Pinballed there for a minute. Like he was trying to evade that deputy again. He was coming up right behind him, and that, he took that aggressive action, jumping the curb, tearing off somebody else's bumper. Uh, just added to the list, guys. But uh, the pursuit now continuing on Kalima through another intersection. Here's another red light. We'll see what he does here. More cross traffic coming through, and now a southbound turn onto South Hacienda Boulevard. Uh, presumably, those deputies will make the turn Thanks, Risa, Hayden. and try and close in on him once again. There he is, just about maybe four or five car lengths back. If he slows Wait, there, he's the actually gap, gaining on him for the they first will time. Close that gap, but every time they do that, he just basically speeds up. I would like to think that the officer's vehicle is capable of outrunning a pickup truck. It's exceptionally dangerous, but it just has to be a matter of trying to play it safe without risking innocent people. For desperate measures. I think the bigger factor is the fact that there's so many innocent people around him. If they have a straightaway, and obviously they can't do it at like 60 miles per hour, but it's a, it's a heavy truck, by the way, so it wouldn't be the easiest pit in the world. But in any event, he's threading Thanks, the needle, Reset attack. one lane going, one lane coming, southbound Hacienda Road, cars pulling over to make room for him. But thankfully, in this situation, at least you have the lights and sirens from those deputies right behind him. So you have folks naturally pulling over because they hear the emergency sirens behind them. Uh, but this is a very narrow road here. Hacienda Road, as you mentioned, one lane going, one lane coming, and he's going around everybody over the double yellow lines just to get away from that deputy. Thanks the prime mud in the resub tracks. Oh, what a squeeze! What the fuck? It's a windy road. It's a windy road. That was like a flats to flounder situation. He just went super flat to get through that. There's the prime deli meat. No boundaries, no inhibitions. He is going for it. I mean, I think he's pretty well aware of how this is going to end, and it's not going to be pretty. He's basically enjoying his final minutes of freedom here because there is just no True. chance at this point. No chance whatsoever. He's just juicing it for the content of ABC, baby. He said, this one's for your ratings, guys. <laughs> you got me. Thanks to the resub Shokin in the Prime Burrito. Off-roading, off-roading, he's going to be in trouble here, he's going to be in trouble, he's off the road, off the road at a high rate of speed, he may spin out Damn! Here. He uh, held back strong. On, back on Hacienda Road, he's going to, oh, oh man, he just missed that one, missed that car barely, it's a windy road that's going to meet up with Hacienda Road on the other end, also called Hacienda Road, where it'll have a little more room to play with, but right now it's a windy road with a lot of traffic in both directions, He's now going the wrong way, and here come separate deputies in the oncoming lanes of traffic. But really, what can they do? I mean, he's just yeah. You can't just like head-on collision. Into a head-on collision, which is not an option. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Turn around now. And That'd be a terrible like option. Ahead of him here, which there will be another major intersection. Just imagine uh, the officers uh, like on the radio. This one's for my country boys. <laughs> Fucking head-on collides with him. <laughs> Leans back with a smile on his face. Section that he blows through. Fucking action movie scene. Another residential neighborhood with very narrow streets. Uh, it looks like he's not. Okay, so that's El Rancho Drive. 
and uh, a series of deputies now following him into this neighborhood, or at least time to deploy so RoboCop. <laughs> yeah, can we like ODST shock drop RoboCop in here? They could not keep up with his driving on Hacienda Road, but those two that were coming in the opposite direction are now right behind him. So two brand new deputies engaged in this hot pursuit along El Dorado Avenue here in Hacienda Heights. We are... Uh, oh, like oh cul-de-sac! This is scary. This is scary. A cul-de-sac... Uh-oh. ...face to face with the suspect, and you guys know, and our viewers The know, raid boss is cornered. ...in this situation because he's already... Rammed into several vehicles, including deputy vehicles, and there well, it is again, right through, almost missing them, and now, oh, that, man, okay. continuing the, uh, right out of the neighborhood, he's going to get right out. I mean, he's weaseling. That'll do it, I suppose. Predicaments, and I just don't know how much longer this could go on. I just can't, can't That's it. not what I expected, but all right. Nothing they could do. Uh oh. Thanks for the bits of air and there is some rhyme and cheese. Head to head with another sheriff's deputy, and he's just going to go around him. That's the <laughs> protocol, and you can see they're following protocol. They're pulling over, letting him around. They're not going to box him in. And part of the reason, guys, is because these tactics. Look at this. He's going out of the neighborhood where there are about a half a dozen. Oh! Right through those deputies again, just missing okay. them. Okay. That's. Unbelievable. I disagree with the statement about the boxing in. I think they had a better opportunity to box him in before that point. That was just a really good shooting the gap from him. That one wasn't even on the officers. I think they just waited too long to try and box him in. They had a much better opportunity to do that for their back. But then that guy really fucked them in the face with that one. Fucking squeezed a stinker in there. He is making this pickup truck look like it's a smart car. It, like, I don't know how he's able to fit through these small gaps and these small holes here. It's wild. Well, there's about a dozen black and whites, a sea of orcas trying to keep up with him. And they are, tr they just have nothing, no tools at their disposal at the moment to get him off the road. I can tell you that part of this is tactical protocol within the department because there are other agencies that would treat this a little bit differently. But right now they are sticking with the book and basically just trying to, okay, I'm just being, I've, just told that he uh, is facing now three charges of ADWs, assault with a deadly weapon on a law enforcement officer, on top of all the other you don't say here this afternoon, but just to kind of add it to the list, but you can see how many cops are pulling in here. It's unbelievable. It is, it is. He's backtracking on that same windy road, which again has one lane going, one lane in the opposite direction, and at times he just went around traffic by off-roading into Thanks the, 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 oh, the uh, you know, give some boca. It was a miracle he was able to maintain his composure there, but uh, spinning up a lot of dust. It's a narrow road and about a dozen black and white. Yeah, probably behind, right now. But that tire. I think his back left tire is... Uh, oh, he, yep, he he's... Something. Look he lost his tire. Flying, not sure if it's coming from the wheel well or if it's coming from that equipment, but something is... No, I think that's probably his tire when he hit the curb. I wonder if, if all that stuff in the bed of that pickup truck was strapped down. Very possibly not. We've already seen one weed whacker. <laughs> no, that's definitely... The, that's That's got to be the tire. There's no way. What the fuck in the bed of the truck would be creating sparks behind him yeah, like that? I think I'm being told it may be the result of one of those collisions uh, uh, earlier on the same road before he made his way into that neighborhood, uh, possibly. We're going to try, on, on the, by the way, to get on the other side, get on the driver's side, and catch a glimpse of that left rear tire to see what he's working with back there. But something back there was hitting the pavement, creating those sparks. There you see more sparks actually coming from the front. It's coming oh, is it the bumper? Left. Front left sparks. That might we'll not be the tires. Like, but he is oh, no, it's he the is. tires. He's missing the tires. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> missing the tire. Okay, so, by the way, this is not the first time we've seen this in this pursuit. Last time. 
What happened to the what happened to the announcer there? What, what did did he swallow water and it go down the wrong pipe? What was this noise? Listen to this. This pursuit last time. <laughs> this, yeah, there's no way. It's like a little balloon letting air out. Especially at these speeds, and they're gonna close in on him when he does. But again. There are so many innocent people in the immediate vicinity of this. Uh, Thanks to the Bits Observer, right the recent Sean, the Prime disabled. Helium. There is just so much crossfire, so much uh, collateral uh, in his way here. Uh, civilians that are just in danger every time uh, I, I see every... Oh, man, I just... I, I, sorry, I, I just cannot keep up with this guy. He is... No, this guy's a piece of work. He's, gonna lose He's a real battle axe, I agree. And very ugly, but at least for the time being... Also, how is there 40 minutes still? Uh, to circle back, uh, they're doing everything by the book. I'm going to say maybe this is one of those moments where an officer comes in, slaps it down and says, it's time we bend our own rules, chief. And he's like, all right, give me your badge and your gun. You're off the case. And then he gets the job done. Because the only reason this hasn't been more of a catastrophe is is because this guy's somehow been able to avoid hitting most people, most cars, and most things. And that's just a legitimate miracle. This protocol could have had so many problems if this if this driver was a little worse than he is. I He should have been caught fucking 50 minutes ago. Like, this... I, I don't know how effective this, this protocol is, to be honest. There Surely there's got to be some other way. Sparks. Yeah. Thanks to Tier 1 Waffles. Thanks to Prime Lep. You're starting to get a better idea of how much law enforcement is dedicated to getting this guy off the road. There's about a dozen units behind him. We just saw another half dozen in front of him in the opposite lanes. And now he is continuing at a high rate of speed on a straightaway portion of Hacienda Boulevard. Coming up on Colima Road once again if he decides to get back on Colima. But look at that. He's losing that rim. He, he's on borrowed time with this truck. It's a... He's a tier, uh, the resub cipher. It's still, I actually never knew cars could still drive this fast on rims. Well, I guess it's just one rim, but still. That's pretty impressive. It, it barely, barely maneuvering. You see, we're, we're very fortunate that he's on a straightaway section of street here, but if he has to make any, any tight turns at any speed, it's going to be very difficult for him. But at the very least... You're going to start to see that, that wheel... Come like, the ability to still change lanes like this turn, with a wheel missing? A duty truck. It's that's blowing my mind. Uh, ...for all kinds of situations, and these are uh, not easy to break down. But you can see, he's definitely testing the limits of this truck. And now, without that front left tire, it's only a matter of time. Now, those deputies have fallen back once again because he's blowing through these red lights, continuing at a high rate of speed, 70 miles per hour at what cannot be more than about a four Please there's some Danzu and Spoon, David and, and Frosty, and Tier 1 these, left. All these intersections with That's what I said, Tori. Close calls. It's a miracle we haven't seen anybody get hurt now under the freeway. That, I believe, was that was the 605. Uh, the 60, excuse me. Oh! Crashing into a Jeep, crashing into another vehicle here, and... 
Yikes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shit, yikes. Yeah, it can't really break. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep, it's it's all it's all crumbling. Unbelievable. Head on with another car. And the, here comes the here comes All right, there we go. Uh, not even a pit maneuver, but they rammed into her from behind into a gas station. Folks getting gas at the corner of Gale and Hacienda into a gas pump. This has to be now where it ends. The There's no up, way. Probably, but he, now he's going to put it out in reverse. Back in reverse towards that deputy. Look at this. Ramming into the front end. They're shooting. They're shooting at him. They're shooting. We're going to wind out and they are now firing into the cab of that pickup truck. Unbelievable. They are using force. Deadly force is being employed at this moment. So I all right, I will say I did know that they shot him. He doesn't die. He survives the shooting. I did know that happened. I knew it ultimately ended like that. I just didn't know how we ever got to that point. This madness in the middle they are stopped. They have stopped. The wheel, the wheel is off. The, that front left wheel is off. Yep. Is this still going? No. This, still this going? is absolutely. No. This is absolutely Unbelievable. where the the chase ends. There's no shot. Unbelievable. Foot on the gas. Bullets flying through that truck, and now we'll see as they surround the vehicle. Multiple teams and canine units already on the scene here, surrounding the vehicle. At least the rear of the vehicle. They can't surrounded completely obviously they don't want to create a crossfire situation they arrested some random guy what oh what why yes yes somebody's hurt it looks like somebody that's the driver that's the driver it looks like the driver of that car that he rammed head on into it looks like he's being arrested he's being detained for some reason why not sure what that's about but we'll focus on the truck for now what we'll focus on the truck obviously more to that story but uh clearly this ending in a crash with several vehicles. Is it to get him out of the right way of danger or something? Like, what the fuck is that? Creating a lot more smoke. A lot more smoke. The vehicle's not going anywhere. It's completely disabled. Uh, something, something just went through that driver's Why in handcuffs? I have no fucking idea. I, I don't know what that was. He's still gassing it. Multiple bullet holes through the driver's side window, guys. Those are shotgun shells. Those are those are high caliber shotgun shells that have now sh that fired right through that driver's side window, uh, most likely putting an end to this. So how long does it stay in this standstill? Okay, then they eventually get him out and arrest him. Yeah, this has come to an end, guys. I hate to tell you, but, well, I'm happy to say <laughs> come to an end. But... Nah, you don't have to put the mask on. Man, I had a lot of fun. It's a real shame that it's over now. I hate to say it. Or, I mean, uh, wait, no, it's good. What a crazy fucking chase. Okay, so it wasn't a full hour 40. It was about an hour 12. That's still absurd. That is the longest chase I've ever heard of. Okay, now let's learn about what the fuck actually happened here. Like the actual lore of it. Okay. Where can I find that interview with the truck owner? Thanks to the resub. Hunch, Smokey, Hack, Bun in the Bits, Shadow, and Slim. Go to when they pull him out of the car to see what he's wearing. Well, can I? Because he did get shot. I imagine there's blood there. Can't watch that on Twitch. No, there's no blood? Okay. Then, yeah, let me see what he was wearing. We think about the... ...the... the, the ...have reason... ...the, the glass...
glass breaker is being employed, they may just pull him through the windshield. They may pull him through that window, guys. I have a feeling they will just pull him right. Use passenger seat in there. Wow. Stepping out of the vehicle. Whoa. Whoa. I can't read that. What does it say? Cow it says cowboys. Uh, go cowboys, I guess. Fight cowboys, fight. All right, where's the interview with the truck owner? I don't even, like, how would I find that? Uh, full chase truck interview. Oh, here we go. That wild pursuit with crashes, the carjacking, even a home invasion, sparks flying all the while. This one man rampage. Thanks to Resub Road in the prime hunkus in Jesus. By the terrifying experience. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter talking to some of those most. Hoods when their vehicle. Matic end to one of the most dangerous pursuits on Southland streets. Oh, crashing into a Jeep. Somebody open it. Breaking into okay, the. Here home. we go. I was in the kitchen. I just seen somebody open it. And, and the first thing is like the guy that's out there has got in here. Uh, the knives were right there, right next to me, so I got it, and I, I started, I, I just started looking, I was like, man, you gotta get out of my house, I'm gonna stab you, like, right now, man. It all began in Anaheim just before 5, the suspect Makes sense. a black Honda Civic, then breaking into a van and hot-wiring the vehicle. Blocked in by police, he began ramming the cruiser. As he was backing up, the police were on, came up behind him, and he backed out and was ramming the police to get out of the parking area, and as he did, and he took off. John Reynolds still has the keys to his work van, the suspect taking off with his livelihood, dodging his way around oh. officers blocking the street. Oh, that was his van. Flying as he takes out more cars. Ramming into all Because the, the other, cars the other pickup the truck was also his work truck, I believe. The, rims till the other guy's work truck. Erupt, then bails out, running through the neighborhood and into the Benitez's home. Andres grabbing a knife to scare him out. The suspect, he says, high on drugs. This guy's off the influence, you know. I already, just by looking at him, I already knew that like, he already knew it was going to be like his last day with freedom or with life. As the suspect ran out, he grabbed the keys to the family's new work truck. Andre's mother holding him back as he continued to threaten the thief with the knife. Oh my goodness, look at this. He just stole the. Yeah, oh my I God. Can't oh say I blame him. It just breaks my heart because, you know, that truck that he stole is our work truck, you know? And we use it every day, every day. And that truck, we had literally just got it three weeks ago. The pursuit continuing into L.A. County. The suspect escaping several attempts to stop him. Look at this. At the very I least, she got one, one hell of a ride out of it. Taking out more innocent drivers before crashing what a voyage into the she went on. At Hacienda and Gale in the city of industry, then ramming into another cruiser trying to once again escape. Deputies opening fire with less lethal rounds. The days. I really hope they cover that. Taken into custody. Do, does the city cover that? I feel like they'd have to, right? Well, I guess maybe it wouldn't be on the city, it'd be on like the insurance provider. But they have to pr like pr like provide something, right? No, they don't. Huh. Thanks, Arisa Nova, and hoodie. Why would they? I just assumed like if, because it's the result of a police chase. I would just assume they would, like, chip in and cover cost of damages during a police chase. That's that kind of shit you see in, like, anime where it's like, damn, the agency's gonna have to pay for all this damage you caused when hunting down this devil here, dingy. So I just, I don't know, I just made an assumption. Is it Prime Friday? Yeah, I mean, Chainsaw Man was just the first thing that popped into my head because I just watched the episode where they're talking about the damages. That was just the first thing that popped in my head. Leaving a wake of damage and destruction in his path for at least two families, their livelihoods left in limbo. It just makes me upset, like, how, like, a low life can do all this to, like, innocent people, you know, that's just trying to live life. Like, when I saw him in the eyes, I already knew he didn't care about his life.
Yeah, I think that much was pretty clear from the way he was acting. That driving was fucking nuts. Up in this, a GoFundMe has been set up for the Benitez family to help them with their work truck that they use for their landscaping business. All their tools also stolen. Investigators not releasing much about that suspect. All we know at this point is that he faces a very long list of charges. Live in the city of industry, Lee Yam Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News. How's the GoFundMe going? I don't know what I expected. I don't know why I thought ABC would actually put the GoFundMe here. Huge. How is their GoFundMe going? They've raised 90k? Oh, fuck yeah, that's huge. Okay, well that's good news at least. That'll absolutely cover the cost of the tools in the truck. This is the bits mech. Well, that's good news at least. What about the van owner, the other guy? He's a tier one big oof. The prime sweep. No, the van owner doesn't have anything? Well, that's fucked up. All right, let me read about this guy now. So what are they calling him? The Whittier Man? Is that the area? Oh, hey, here we go. Wait, no, they're both in this one. More than 120k raised for men who had their vehicles stolen. And luckily I now have to pay for the LA Times in order to access this. Oh, never mind, I can just allow ads. <laughs> As if, no shot. Let me get another source. Okay, here. Oh wait, this is just the same segment. Hmm. Is there no updates on the suspect? What the fuck is this? DUI suspect on horse leads Whittier police on chase? How many police chases do they have in this area? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you doing this to me? Look up the other guy that got arrested. Oh, I'm trying to find just like a full like breakdown within the last couple days because it's been three days now since this. I would hope they'd have like a full explanation on everything. But so far, not really. Oh, here's the GoFundMe page for the Benitez family. Over 100k. That's wonderful to hear. Good. Oh, here we go. He has a GoFundMe as well. 38k? Not as much. But I mean, that's still much better than nothing, but the van is going to be a lot more expensive than the truck. So it looks like for some reason his has been overshadowed. Look at the bystander who got detained in this. It's messed up. Well, how can I find that? That's what I'm looking for. Don't link it. D like, don't link things. I, I just tell me where I can find it so I can look it up. I don't click links. Go to Mike Rogers on Twitter. Okay. This is just going to be your Twitter account. <laughs> just, hey, I'm Mike Rogers. Which one? Yeah, 
probably the journalist's account. All right, let's see. So this is about the bystander who got arrested. I'm going to take a look at this car that Desmond is zooming in on right now. As the chase was coming to an end, the suspect hit that car and then deputies rammed the suspect into that car again. Then Desmond Shaw and Sky 9 spotted deputies running up to that car. At first, Oof. we hear the people inside had been wounded in the shooting, but then we saw officers tackling one of them and walking him away in handcuffs. Yeah, because why? Wait, what the fuck? And he talks about the injuries he says he suffered. The sheriff's smashing into his car. One of them smashed into my car and um, immediately started shooting guns. It just sounded crazy like a war zone. Blah, blah, blah. I got out the car immediately. I don't want my son and my and my wife to get part of that. So we, as soon as I get out the car, the cops just smashed me. Started socking me. Were they confused? Me, like what? if what? I was the, the dude that stole the car. They, they immediately throw me in cuz and they're dragging me around and... and Bumping my head, hitting my head. Did not have to happen that way. I had nothing to do with it. We're just bystanders getting out of their way. Instead, they went and attacked me brutally, you know, in front of my family, in front of everybody. And um, that's it's not right, you know, it's not right. Oh, we talked to the sheriff's department. They give us a comment on what happened. They tell us that Cruz refused to leave the area. So they then took action. Cruz says he was just trying to get his family what? out of the line of. What? He refused to leave the area. Well, let's, you know what, actually, let's check that out in real time. Let's see how uh, st stern this refusal was to leave the area. I I'm so curious here. Because it looks like he gets hit, and then it is the second the officers show up on the scene, arrested. Okay, let's see. I'm curious. That driver's side. You can see even a pit maneuver but they rammed into him from behind into a gas station Fox okay so that's gas, his car has now just been hit again into a gas pump, so his car has been hit twice he's gonna try and get out probably but he, now he's gonna put it out in reverse back in reverse towards that deputy look at this ramming into the front end they're shooting they're shooting at him they're shooting we're gonna wind out and they are now firing into the cab of that pickup truck unbelievable they are using force Deadly force is being employed at this So he's still there. He hasn't been arrested yet. Now he's being arrested. The middle, they are stopped. They have stopped. The wheel, the wheel is off. The, that front left it's, been, it's been a matter of seconds. Actual seconds. Yikes. That's fucking trash. That's some straight garbage right there. That guy did nothing wrong and just gets arrested for getting hit twice. Oh, gee, well, I'm sorry, I didn't even see that. Thank you for the 25 gift subs, Cool Out. Thank you for that, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Cool Out. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. And thanks to the resub Leon and the Bits Mac. The suspect's name is Johnny Enchado. Thanks for your sub boogie and hyena and potato. Hopefully he gets a payday out of that. Like, can't you sue for that? You got you gotta be able to, right? He got an injury so he can sue. Uh, he absolutely should. That's so fucked up. Oh my god, I'd be so tight. My car just got hit. Oh my god, my car just got hit again. What the fuck is happening? I'm processing information. Okay, honey, uh, what do I do? The cops are here, they're shooting. Do I do I pull out and run or is that gonna look suspicious? I don't know what to do. Holy fuck, they're, bl they're opening my door. Oh my god, I'm being arrested. It's been 20 seconds. Like, they want him to literally be like a, like a speedrunner to immediately make this decision instantly in an intensely stressful situation after being hit twice out of nowhere. That is outrageous. 
Oh yeah, and they and apparently they roughed him up too, which you could kind of see, which I said was really fucking weird because they threw him on the ground and like aggressively handcuffed the shit out of him. That makes no sense. What must have happened is they got confused on who they were actually chasing and for some reason assumed it was this car. I, like, I, I have no other explanation for why that would have even happened remotely. Because even if they were out there just to, like, fuck things up, they have a perfect target with the guy who's just gone on an hour-long pursuit, a chase. They wouldn't even need to rough up this guy. They, they have someone they can go beat the shit out of. That makes no sense. I think that's the only explanation they didn't want to look dumb. So they tried to come up with some kind of justification for roughing this guy up. But I think the real reason was they got confused on who they were actually chasing. It'd been over an hour. It spanned so much distance that they just simply forgot what the car or suspect looked like. So the first person they saw when they arrived at the scene, because keep in mind, th those people that arrested him, those cops, they showed up so late, they were probably so out of it and just fucked this guy up thinking that this was the suspect. That's the only thing I can make sense of. Just actual idiots. Things are so munchy and necrotic. Why lie when asked about it? I to look less stupid? I don't I have no idea. I'm not I don't work for the department. I have no fucking clue. They didn't get confused. I I see no other reason why they would have. I see people keep saying racism. They had no idea this guy's race when they got there. They literally ripped the first guy out of the car they saw. Like, I don't think race came into play at all. They legitimately showed up and ripped this man out of his car. He was out of the car? No, he wasn't. Was he? Am I getting confused on which one's him? Because look, they opened the door right here. Right there. Right there. He, unless he was opening the door from being outside, I guess that's possible. It's kind of blurry, but it, to me it looks like they pulled him out of the car. He was out of the car? When? It, it opens right here and the cops are already surrounding him. Earlier he was out? Okay, hold on, let me go back to the full one. The camera pans off it, so I can't know for sure, I guess. Is this him standing out there? I was under the impression this was one of the cops. Steering into the cab of that pickup truck. Unbelievable. They are using force, deadly force is being employed at this moment to try and stop this madness in the middle so then uh, the, he the starts getting arrested the up there the, wheel, the wheel is off the, that front oh you're right yeah that was off. him standing out there i thought that was one of the officers yeah. is it still going oh you're right okay sorry i thought that was one of the officers He goes to get back in and that's when they rip him out. Yeah, so that's what this is. So it's him opening the door and then them taking him down. You're right. You're right. I, I thought that was an officer outside at the start. Things in Tier 1 Federation. And resub Mass and Jackson and Sway. He's not following order. Yeah, that's that's just a dog shit take. It had, I think 
real time, it was 20 seconds from the second time his car gets hit. That's 20 seconds of pure panic. Instantaneous chaos. One second you are parked with your family, next second you've been hit by a pickup truck, and then you get hit again by the same pickup truck after a cop hits it. You're fucking stunned. You're not processing things normally. 100%. He gets out, he's confused, he's trying to make sense of what's happening, and then he goes to get back in, probably to leave, which I think would be the logical thing to do. That would probably be most people's thought process, like, holy shit, they're shooting, I'm gonna leave. And then that's when they throw him down. That is absolutely just big cop L. I don't think there's any excuse. Like, there isn't, like, yeah, there's, like, actually no time for him to not even follow orders. It is 20 seconds from the time his car gets hit the second time. Actual 20 real-world seconds. He's getting arrested right here, and the second time he gets hit was right here. Well, uh, well a little before that. But, yeah, roughly, like, 20 seconds. He's a resub psycho slap in Nori, an Autobot. The bits Reginald. Thanks to Tier One Sun and the resub Martine. What a wild situation. God damn. That was a crazy chase. Thanks to the gifts of Jev Jevon Javon. Oh, Javon. And the resub Yazzie. In the prime, salty. And give some baby cakes. Did you do a wiki fact? What? On what? That's a good placement from Amazon there. True. <laughs> the Amazon truck slides in. They used the, hot, the homeless man's shopping cart as cover, did they? <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what? Why? Why even? There's three cops using the homeless guy's shopping cart as their cover. But why? Like, you use this. Like, this would be better. And using other cops' as cover. Oh, well, that's not, like, uncommon. Like, it, this, you're talking about, like, this clusterfuck here? 
I don't think it's necessarily using other cops as cover there. I, I don't... I don't really know what the fuck you'd call this. But they're just all trying to get behind this car. And grouped up. This is just pure wackiness. I don't know what situation a shopping cart is going to be a good form of cover, but... Godspeed. Better than nothing? Is it better than nothing, though? I don't know. At least with nothing, you're more maneuverable. Here, for some reason, you're taking cover, so if, if shit pops off, you're gonna be, like, ducking behind a shopping cart. Like, you're better off just, like, doing tactical rolls around there, like Dark Souls. Mobile cover? It's... What do you mean mobile cover? It's, there's no cover there. It's a fucking shopping cart. It's very porous. Now, this was like a steel bucket shopping cart, maybe. Could also be a firing platform. Eh, maybe. I guess. That'd make more sense than them actually thinking it's good cover. Holy shit, how many of them stack up on this shopping cart? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Alright. Oh my god, what the fuck? So many of them around the shopping cart. Just get behind the police car or, or like literally anything else. Holy shit. It's like half the department's behind the shopping cart. Thanks the resub crux. Yeah, the car catches fire eventually, I know. I saw. I want to see if they push the cart around. I didn't pay attention to that the first time. No, they don't. Yeah, I already talked about the, the Twitter blue checkmark trolling that led to billions of dollars being lost from Lockheed Martin and Eli Lilly. Shit's amazing. Riot Shield inside shopping cart is Galaxy Brain. That would be Galaxy Brain. That would be huge. Exit Prime cracked in the resub. Izumi. What's the new egg accusation? First I've heard of that. I thought I caught up on all the big stories from the week. I haven't heard about this new egg situation though. Have they released anything about the uh, driver? Because I didn't see anything pop up about him. New eggs going bankrupt? What?
they let him go for being a Dallas Cowboys fan. He suffered enough. Yeah, well, that is rough. That is that is a, that is rough. Thanks to Prime Mia and the resub wind. No, so they're not, oh my god, I don't even know why I bothered trying to get the information from chat. I'm getting so many different responses about the Newegg thing. I know shit about it. <clears throat> why are people saying rip Joe Rogan? It's just been a meme for a long time. Elizabeth Holmes looking at 15 years in prison. Yeah. Not enough for the shit she pulled. But yeah, I know. Theranos. Didn't finish God of War. I was going to play it tonight after catching up with everything, but didn't realize just how long that chase was, really. So I'm actually getting kind of tired. I think I'll call it a night and we'll just bang out some God of War tomorrow. Alright everyone, thanks for tuning in, to everyone who donated, big thanks, new subs, welcome aboard, sub means a lot, so thanks for subbing, enjoy the emotes, and I will see you all tomorrow, hope you all have a great, uh, great